sorry. Hi. Uh, this is Purist. And welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. Now. Let's get into it, shall we? Last time when we left this game, we are in the Underdark. Trying to get, um, well actually, uh, we're trying to bypass a, um, oh, what are we doing? We'll read the journal. The journal will have the answers. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah. We went down to the dark. Found an old temple, got attacked by a minotaur, and also, um... Got... Accosted by a... Demon of some description? He was very much... I mean, I know he's not a demon, he's a Cambion? I think? I think Karlak said Cambion? But, um... Yeah, he's basically a devil. <clears throat> Come to work for us, surprise, surprise, a bargain to take out our, um, little, um, hitchhikers. Of course, I said I'll think about it, really thinking no, because, you know. Yes, take a deal from a devil. Hasn't, like, memes or, like, bloody rock songs have told us to never do that? Plus, um... You know, uh, Supernatural, the TV show. <laughs> First five seasons were the best, by the way. Anyway, um, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Well, it is, but I'll come back to that. Um, maybe, um, there's going to be no star, um, star field this week. Because, frankly, I'm not as emotionally interested in it as I thought it would. I mean, it's a good game, sure, but it's like, I'll probably do like a community post about this, but it's like comparing, um, well, people love comparing, um, Wait, hang on, I'm just going to make sure I got my, um, dates right. Because... Hang on. I'm trying to figure out and remember if... Um... Oh, never mind. Well, I was about to... <coughs> I was about to compare, um, The Witcher 3 with, um, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim when those were, um, when those comparisons were, like, tossed around. I thought they came out the same year as each other, but apparently not. Um... But everyone was, like, comparing, like, The Witcher 3 to Skyrim and how shit it was. I, I, I feel like that's exactly what I'm having with Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield. I mean, or even Cyberpunk and Starfield to give even, like, closer. I mean, sure. Um... Uh, Cyberpunk, when it first started, probably didn't have an, probably, would it? Oh god, it's actually really weird. Beth Bethesda, one of Bethesda's releases, 
as soon as it come out, sorry about my throat, as soon as it came out, had fewer bugs than what Cyberpunk 2077 had at launch. Okay, that's fucking weird. Anyway. Um, what, what Matt O is meaning to say is, I'm probably not going to be playing Starfield on the channel. I'm probably, maybe, play it. Um, like somebody on the mic. Here. Uh, I probably will play it on my own time. Maybe. I don't know. But then again, I haven't been playing Baldur's Gate 3 on my own time because I... <coughs> what the heck is wrong with my throat? It's been, it's been acting up this entire day. Anyway, I hope you excuse me for that. Anyway, I'll I'll do like a... I'll probably have done like a uh, community post saying so, but you know, I just want to get that out of the way. Anyway. No, we killed that fucker. Now let's figure out what the heck is going on here. A bunch of sacks. Surrounded by the, um, you know. Sexy looking statue. Book. In search of the night song. Here we go. Hmm. What's this? <clears throat> Fascinating that such a seemingly valuable object has proven so difficult to track down. Indeed, treasure hunters the realm over have traveled to the Sword Coast with one goal in mind. To find the Night Song. Yet, by each, by each, they failed. Indicating dead ends, rebuffs, or else disappearing altogether. My latest inquiry was with a half-orc named Grayley. Growly. Growly? Growly. He insisted he come as close as possible to the relic as one may go without forfeiting his or her life. He indicated that the object... That's a bit weird. <laughs> close as possible to the relic as one may go without forfeiting his or her life. He indicated that the object is not... As most reports indicate, in the Selunite, or adjacent to the river Chionathar. Chionthar. It is in fact held in an old shrouded fortress somewhere in the environs of Moonrise Towers. However, Grayley reported some kind of potent shadow prevents one from approaching where this fortress may be. Ooh. So we might be in luck to find whatever this. Night song is. That's cool. I want to pick it up. I just. What path lies before me? Why did I climb up on the thing? Okay. Let's go out. Shall we? Into the. Whoa. Hmm. Why do I feel like those are going to activate? Hmm. A skeleton. He has a rotten fish. This is definitely not a Bethesda game. It's definitely been a fortress, you can tell by the fortifications. But yeah. If you remember. Sorry. Meant to bring up the this. 
Um, you remember, we have a, um... Is it not in here? Okay, um... Might need to, um... Keep an eye out for that wood, because... Remember, we found a, um... A, um... Guideline to, for like a specific weapon Using wood that can only be found down here so we may need to um keep an eye out. Don't mind if I do. For it. Chasm creeper. Hmm. What's that? Oh, another rocky crevice. Not a chance. I'll fit in there. Ah. Uh, so it's a chasm creeper. Okay. Hmm. Stop the moon maiden. What, what, what do? That seems like something that... Shadowheart should have access to. Question is, will she actually use it though? She even proficient staves. Hmm. I feel like I still feel like she should have that though. Bones. Odd how skeleton can always be full bones. Okay, I don't think it's worth looting all these things, but, you know. Always makes my day better. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no huh. matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one, too. Now... As for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I am not so sure. He is a devil, so I think we should be wary. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, mm. but he also stared as if we were the banquet. Rather than the one on the table. Yeah. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. What do you think is best? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. There. I don't think we should trust him. 
Good, you got there eventually. <laughs> He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I made the right decision then. Ooh. So who are Shah's enemies? Who receives his treatment? There are many. But they all renounce their gods when they are taught fear. Watch out for that devil. Hmm. Hmm. That's I I I did not even click her, but I'm glad I did though. Who the fuck are enemies of Shaw? I mean, logic will say the priests of the sun, but I don't know. nearby my kinids what are they I mean spores mean mushrooms is that what you mean old god what's happening what What? 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 What was that? What was that? Voice. Do you hear it too? They're coming. They're coming. I mean, I'm not imagining that. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They are coming. You are coming. Oh. Ooh. Pretty sword. Bala Aluv. Want. Want. Bottle. Oh, mitz. Mars. And a sword. Same. In case someone either attacks us or I don't have the requisite skills required to pull that out. Slender drow blade impales. Ooh, the it's stone a drow before, blade. Keeping a silent vigil. Well then. Oh. 
get its strength and religion. So, technically speaking, Karlak should be religion. Yeah, I'm not well versed in religion, so I'm gonna I'm gonna swap to Karlak. Damn, it's good to be alive. Hell yeah. Can you try and pull the sword? Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Yeah, this feels like a Karlak kind of thing. Yeah, plus three to strength. I will add a bonus on top of that. Ooh. Wait, when did I... Yeah, fuck it. Take it. Plus five. And... Guidance, just in case. Can you get a ten? I'm reloading that. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. Can I try again? No. Okay. Uh, I want the sword. The sword is shiny, and it's a drow sword. I want it. Gib. Okay, Karlak. Don't burn yourself. I wish, honestly, I wish I could. On it. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Grab so with both hands and pull. Bonus. Kill giant strength. And guidance. Oh, there we go. Nice. Last time I rolled too low. This time I rolled too high. Mm, I mean, too high isn't really a thing, but... It feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade. With another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. Hell yeah. Fala Alum. What is it? The drowned inscription on this play appears to be recently carved. It translates to Though I have to leave you, I will dance forever in Elastray's light. Holy fuck. I mean, it's. Got better rows than um, uh, Faithbreaker, which I've got her with now. Melody. Oh, wait, what does Melody do? Oh, that's not what I want. Melody. Ready to sing or shriek? What does it do, though? I only mean, does performance plus one. Okay. Yeah. Uh. 
I think it's a fair replacement. Nice. All right. What now? Indeed, what now? Don't waste a step. Broken bones must have fallen. Hmm. Candle. Ah. Um. Okay. okay. I'm going to. Actually, gonna hide. I wanna see if we can sneak. I don't need any attention right now. Pass the beastie. Breathe deep and move. Timusks, known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. Wits and blades always sharp. Hmm. Onward in her name. Let me put my magic. Immediately. Just move them around. Soldier. Soldier. Saddle up. So you can guard the rear. Okay, they aren't going this way. Good. Salutations, my good man. 
You what? should move over here. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I need to hide. Tigers, Stroll of Shatter, um, yeah, Shadow Heart, Stroll of Fireball, I'll keep that, Simple Toxin, keep that, Oil, Dim, Dim, that. Put your weapon in oil receives a minus one penalty to damage, but targets failing a constitution save suffer disadvantage on strength checks and saves. Hmm. Arsonist oil. Put your weapon in an oil that transforms the target's fire resistance to fire vulnerability. People aren't following me. Are there any more enemies? Torch stalk. Apparently, I can attack it. Oh, 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 condition hiding yeah I feel like I just burn everything. Burn everything. We know Bernie burn. May as well. I mean, whoever's here definitely will know they're here. Comparatively, but um. You know, at least we won't be, you know, oh, hi, you aren't attacking us. Are you friendly? 
Hello? Are you friendly? You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Ah. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Okay, I'm getting Mass Effect flashbacks. Did not expect this from this game, but I like it. Ooh, I've got a, I've got a racial one here. The Underdark is my home. I don't need your permission to pass. That sounds full of yourself. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Intimidation, my purpose is private, let me pass and I'll leave you unharmed. Insight, seek understanding, focus on the sovereign song or persuasion. I'm a traveler seeking venture. Or I just tell the truth, I seek safe passage and touch with treatment. Or focus on the parasite and connect with the sovereign. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm... Should I tell the truth? I mean, I'm not sure if they would be able to help considering they're fungal people. I mean, they do have a a mind aspect because they can communicate through our minds. So that must... Hmm. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna persuade and check them. I'm a traveler seeking adventure. I will, and then if, you know, if I find anything else about them, like medical, you know, things, then I can tell them, hey, I've got this thing in my head. Could you like get rid of it, please? Oh, it's a five. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably. I mean, I'm. Pretty much guaranteed to get this so long as I don't get a one. I've got a three. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. A descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Is that what the Sovereign looks like? Dude! He looks cool as shit. I'm guessing it's like somewhere up here. Yeah, up there. Alright, um... Yeah. Let's ascend. The Wizard of Waterloo. Apparently, that's been updated. You're saying? Ah. He needs another magical item. Okay. Sure. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Hey, which ones do, could I get them? Use that one. No, 
Oh, that one's... Permanent Smiting. Oh. Oh, I should, I should give that to, um... Blazive Benevolence. Yeah, you can have that. Thank you. Oh, good. Good gods. I don't know what to make of this. Three artifacts is a positive glut of magic. Yet my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go. You're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. Uh -oh. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Excuse me, what, mate? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How? Is this like a Zeus thing where she, like, transformed into a woman so you could... You know? Or is this like a metaphysical thing? How does this work? You're telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Doesn't really sound like you loved her very much. Oh yeah. She like let you have a glimpse of like what was beyond and it's just like, hmm, maybe I should cross her boundaries. A literal goddess of magic and you want to cross her boundaries. That sounds really stupid. Yeah, you thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more of a fool than I thought. Quite. I tried to convince her. I pouted, I pleaded, I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? All right, I'm intrigued. Tell. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. Uh -huh. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, 
had been shattered and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting okay. all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? What was the answer? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Uh, hey. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. My gods, is it ever hungry? How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You would die. That's what this is, right? Rather worse, actually. I will Worse? erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. So you are taking time bomb, a time bomb of unstable magic. Is there nothing we can do? I mean, other than feeding this whatever the fuck? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word and we'll part ways. I don't know. I mean, it's none. None of this is. I mean, it is kind of his fault. I think I might sleep on this. I think this, um, yeah. I'll leave this until tomorrow. Now, channel update. Since Starfield is not going to be here this week, uh, Cyberpunk and Baldur's Gate 3 will each add on two, um, add on a part. So, there'll be three parts of Baldur's Gate 3. 
and three parts of cyberpunk so um yeah you're getting 50 percent more uh rpg for your goodness and minus 100 percent of whatever the heck starfield is it's not really it's not an rpg is it it's more like a I don't know what it is. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this. I did. Um, Please like and subscribe. And watch the rest of my stuff. I've, I've been on YouTube for... Since 2020. So, it's bound to be something you want to watch. I mean, some of it might be a little bit stuff. But still, it's there. Why don't you check it out? Anyway. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Purist, signing off.